Hello again, Relic again. Here's part two of our simulation. A lot of time has passed. Um, I had to split this into two parts because of the limitations on my YouTube account. Um, I've zoomed way out to give you the grand picture, the big, uh, the big picture. Um, as you see, the heavy mass object is inside Pluto orbit now, and is starting to have a severe effect on the outer planets. Look at the projected path of Uranus. This heavy mass, this heavy mass object is really pulling at the outer planets. And it is still on course um, with the Elenin orbital uh, data. None of that has changed. You can see its speed has increased dramatically. And we've skipped ahead um, a good 30, 40 years since part one. Now what's going to be interesting here in the future is the way this is playing out the uh, heavy mass object and the planet Uranus are going to make a very close encounter as well as Neptune so that's going to be very interesting to see how that's to see how this plays out as you can see Uranus is wanting to totally leave the solar system right now of course after the object is on the inside of Neptune orbit that projected path will change I'm very interested to see what happens when the object gets at its closest point to uh, the planet Uranus because it looks like they are going to make a very close encounter now you notice that this heavy mass object has the most effect when it is close proximity to a uh, another orbiting body at a distance yes it will perturb the orbit but take a look how close that is to Neptune and Uranus that's why it's having such a great effect It's like the Sun doesn't even have control over Neptune at the moment. Right now our, our heavy mass object is inside Neptune orbit probably at about 26 AU from the Sun. Let's see what Uranus... Wow! Uranus is being tugged directly towards the high mass object. and it looks like it's going to want to follow the high mass object we will have to wait and see how this plays out but uh, Uranus may come to a halt in this simulation and do a uh, total 360 I'm seeing the projected path of Neptune start to move more to the left of the screen now as the object comes on the inside of its orbit. It is starting to tug it back into its original position, I guess you could say. But very curious what is happening between the gravitational forces between the heavy mass object and the planet Uranus. If you keep your eye on Neptune, periodically you will see that projected path adjust. And instead of being flung out of the solar system, it is now wanting to, um, it is being tugged by the heavy mass object, which again is 0.16 
the mass of our own star. Looks like Uranus wants to do a little loop-de-loop -loop here. And inter interestingly enough, its velocity is slowing down. Saturn's orbit is way off kilter. Looking at Uranus again. Zoom in a little bit. I think there's no doubt about it. This thing is slowing the planet Uranus down. Now you can see as it gets closer and closer to the inner solar system the gravitational effects become more and more evident. I'm very interested to see what happens with Uranus here over the next few seconds or minutes. It is slow it is slowing down rapidly. And we're talking about over the course of weeks, months, not years here. Your heavy mass object is really having an uptick in speed now. The sun is having a lot more influence as it comes closer and closer to the core of the solar system. 23 AU away. 8.8 .8 kilometers a second. Now, if you remember, when we first started the simulation, it was around 1.4 kilometers per second. Let's see what Uranus is about to do here, or Neptune. Uranus is now going at meters per second, and it looks like it's going to do a turnaround. Will it go to zero? Not sure. But it does look to me like it's going to try to follow this heavy mass object. Wow. 200 meters per second. It has brought the gas giant to a standstill. All right. As predicted, yes, it has changed direction. Uranus is now speeding up, going in the opposite direction. Neptune is starting to correct its, its orbit and is uh, wanting to follow the heavy mass object as it is closer the heavy mass object is closer to Uranus than the Sun is. And boy, can you really see the thing picking up speed now. 11, going on 12 kilometers a second. I got a feeling this is going to happen so fast that we may have to, uh, you the viewer may have to rewind this a few times and watch this sequence. a few times over to catch it all. Going on 14 kilometers a second. As we are now inside the orbit of Saturn. You can see, well, I was going to say you could actually see the perihelion. It is fixing to make its rip through the inner solar system. Let's see how far away. Boy. 
look how disturbed the orbits of Earth, Mercury, Venus, and Mars are. They are going inside one another, outside, outside each other. Here we go. Slingshotting around the sun. My gosh, Mercury, uh, Mercury and Venus almost collide. The inner planets are all over the place. Now, over time. I would expect the orbits to straighten out. How long that would take? Only an astrophysicist could probably tell. That is just amazing. It is just astounding the amount of disturbance this object caused as it came through the inner solar system. I mean, you got Venus almost in the same orbit as Mercury was before this happened. Several times I've seen Venus and Mercury almost collide. Mars is where Venus should be it's it's just it's totally screwed up and it looks like we have lost Jupiter and Neptune may not make a recovery according to this simulation So the final result, the inner planets look like they're starting to uh, become a bit more circular. They're still pretty off kilter, but I would expect...